Hello everyone, this is Zeref Mazibugo. I'm going to take you through Mathematics N1, Report 191. We're going to do Module 2, which is Exponents and Logarithms. We're going to use Mathematics N1 textbook, which is FET First Native Series by MJJ Ramsenberg. We're going to use it throughout this lesson. Then we're having exponents and logarithms. Before we go to the laws of exponents, we have to understand that at 3 to 2, 8 raised to 4, of which is going to be 3. Here, it's our coefficient, and then a is a base, and then 4 is an exponent or an index. So, laws of exponents. We're having an a to the power n, 10 by a to the power m, of which is equal to a raised to m plus by n. So, we're having the same basis. We're going to keep one base. We're having a multiplication sign. We're going to add the exponents. So, here we're having an a raised to an m divided by and a raised to an n, which is equals to a raised to an m minus n. We're having the same basis here, also going to keep one base. Then here we're having a division sign, we're going to subtract the exponents. So here we're having an a times by b, or raised to an m, of which is then is going to be equal to a raised to an m and b raised to an m, of which is whatever that's inside this bracket is going to be multiplied by an outside exponent of which is m. Also here applies the same thing. We're having an a to the power m times by b to the power n, all raised to a p, of which is then it's going to be a to the m times by p and b raised to n times by p. So here we're having an a divided by b, all raised to an m, of which is equals to a raised to the power m divided by b to the power m. So here we're having an a to the power m and c to the power p divided by b to the power n, or raised to a q, of which is equals to an a to the power m times by q, and c to the power p times by q, divided by b to the power n times by q. So here we're having an a raised to 0, of which is equals to 1. We're saying any number raised by 0 is equals to 1. So here we're having an a to the power minus m. We can't leave our exponent in the minus form, of is then going to have a 1 divided by a to the power m. So let's take the first work out. We're having a 2 to the power 3rd times by 2 squared, which is our first law. Then we're having the same basis. We're going to keep one base. And since we're having a multiplication sign, we're going to add the exponents, of which is going to be 3 plus by 2. Then we're going to have 2 to the power 5, of which is then 32. Then number 2, we're having 2 to the power 6 times by 2 to the power 4 divided by 2 to the power 7. It's going to be our first law and second law, of which is we're having 2, which is the same base. Then between these two, there's multiplication sign. That's why there's addition. Then it's going to be 6 plus by 4. Since here, there's division sign. Then it's going to be minus 7. And then we're going to have 2 to the power 3rd, of which then equals to 8. Then here, number 3, we're having x times by y or raised to 2, of which is our third law, meaning that whatever that's inside this bracket is going to be multiplied by this exponent of which is 2. Then we're going to have x squared, y squared. So here, we're having an a times by, and 2 times by an a to the third, times by x divided by y squared or raised to a 4. So equals to having a 2 to the power 4 and a raised to 3 times by 4 times by x to the power 4 divided by y to the power 8 if we just made by 2 times by this 4. Then here our answer is going to be 16 times by a to the power 12 times by x to the power 4 divided by y to the power 8. So here we're having number 5. We're having an a squared times by an a b squared times by an a squared b all raised to 3 divided by an a cubed times by b cubed all raised to 2 and times by an a b all squared so whatever that's inside the bracket it's going to be multiplied by an outside part so we're first going to go through it we're going to say a raised to 2 times by 3 times by b to the third and then here all divided by an a to 3 times by 2 times by b times by raised to 3 times by 2. Then all this is going to be multiplied by an a squared times by an b squared. So here 
we're going to have an a for the top part of which we have a 2 plus by a plus by 1 plus by 6 all this is raised by to that a and then b we're going to have a 2 plus by 3 all this divided by a raised to 6 plus by 2 then b raised to 6 plus by 2 of which is here is going to have a 9 and here we're going to have a 5 then also down here we're going to have an 8 and also here an 8 so we're going to have an a raised to a 9 minus 8 then b raised to a 5 minus 8 of which is then going to have an a divided by b cubed a b cubed comes from here is going to be b raised to 5 minus 8 here is going to be minus 3 since we can't leave our exponent as a negative that's why we have to do it like this so let's go to logarithms we're having log n base b of which is equals to l we're having an n as a number a b as a base and l as a logarithm so this is how we have to change it but i'm not going to go through everything i'm just going to take two examples from exponential form to logarithms so we're having 16 equals to 2 to the power 4 then to the log form we're having log 16 base 2 of which is equals to 4 and here we're having 25 equals to 5 squared then we're having log 25 base 5 of which is equals to 2. Let's go through an exercise. So here we're having an assessment activity 2.2. Number 1 says that change to logarithms. So we're having 100 equals to 10 squared. Of which is going to be log 100 base 10 equals to 2. And then our number 2 is saying 1 over 25 divided by 5 raised to minus 2. Then we're having log 1 over 25 base 5 equals to minus 2 and here we are saying change to exponential form so we're having log 36 base 6 which is equals to 2 and then we're having 36 equals to 6 raised to 2 and then for number 2 we're having log 1 over 4 base 2 of which is equal to minus 2 of which is then minus is equals to 1 over 4 equals to negative 2 raised to negative 2 then here we're saying so for x we're having number 1 x is equal to log 3 log 9 base 3 so we're going to change it to the exponential form we're having 9 equals to x 3 raised to an x then 9 is made by 3 squared of which is going to be equals to 3 to the power x so since we're having the same basis we're just going to drop off drop down the exponent so x is going to be equals to 2 and then here we're going to do logarithms to the base 10 and base 2. But before that we have to understand the log logarithmic laws. So for number 1 we're having a log x times by y base a of which is going to be equals to log x base a plus by log y base a. Then number 2 we're having log x divided by y base a of which then is going to be equals to log x base a minus log y base a so number three we're having log x raised to m base a of which is going to be then equals to m log a log x base a so here we just have nothing whenever there's a multiplication sign it's an addition then division sign there's a there's a separation sign so let's take an activity that saying simplify the following if log 2 equals to 0 0.301 and log 3 equals to 0 0.77 and then log a is equals to 1. So log of 600 we're having log 3 times by 100 of which is going to have a log 3 plus by a log 100 of which here we're having a multiplication sign of which is log 3 here they're saying is 0 0.447. So plus by log 10 squared base 10, of which is then going to be 0 0.777, 477, plus by 2 log 10 base 10, of which is then it's going to be 0 0.447 plus by 2 10 by 1, of which is this log 10 base 10 is equals to 1. Then our answer is going to be 2 point. 447. So here we're having log 2, log 4, base 2 plus by log 8, base 2 minus log 16, base 2. So here is equals to log 
2 raised to 2 base 2 plus by log 2 raised to the third base 2 then minus log 2 raised to the fourth base 2 so this 2 we're gonna say multiply by this so you're gonna have 2 log 2 base 2 plus by 3 log 2 base 2 minus 4 log 2 base 2 so then it's gonna have a 2 multiplied by 1 since this is 1 then plus by 3 multiplied by 1 of which also this is 1 minus 4 times by 1 of which is then 1 and then all of this will be equals to 1 so you also have an assessment activity 2.4 Simplify the following with the aid of logarithms and check your answer using a calculator. So we are giving this. You are having a 3, number 1, 3.86 times by 0 0.126. Then we're going to introduce log, of which is going to say log times by 3 into 3.86 times by 0 0.126. Then you're going to separate this since there's a multiplication sign. You're going to say log. 3.86 plus by a log 0 0.126 and then punch this into a calculator you're going to have a 0 0.5865 minus a 0 0.8996 and then this is going to give you a minus 0 0.313 then you're going to say an anti-log of which is lean of this number of which is 0 point minus 0 0.313 then it's going to give you 0 0.486 then for number two you're having 128 all raised to 1 over 2 then equals to log 128 raised to 1 over 2 then 1 over 2 is going to be the first part here it's going to say 1 over 2 log 128 so all of this is called to when you're punching it to a calculator is 1.054 then after that you say anti log of which is lin of 1.054 and then it's gonna give you 11.324. So we're gonna do logarithms to the base e. Thus log x y base e it's gonna be equals to log x base e plus by log y base e. And then here we're having a log x divided by y base e is gonna be equals to log x base e minus log y base e so here we're having log x raised to an m base e of which is going to be equals to an m log x base e so let's take an assessment activity 2.1 of which is saying calculate x by using logarithm to the base e so we're having an x equals to 2 times by 3 so here we're going to introduce logs on both sides so we're going to have log x base e of which is then equals to log 2 times by 3 base e and then log x base e of which is then going to be equals to log 2 base e plus by log 3 base e then log x base e is going to be equals to when you punch this to a calculator you're going to have 0 0.693 plus by 1.099 then log x base e is going to be equals to 1.792. So for you to find the value of x, you're going to say x is equals to lin or e of which is equals to base e of which is equals to 1.792. And then our x is going to be equals to 6. Here we're having an x of which is equals to 2 to the power 4 plus by e to the power 3. So we're having introducing log in both sides so we're having log x base e of which is equal to log 2 to the power 4 plus by e to the power third base e so we're having a log x base e of which is equal to 3.182 if we punch this to the calculator you're going to get this so for the value of x is then going to be having e to the power 3.182 then our x is going to be equal to 24.086. So that will be the end of our module 2. So guys, please continue doing the maths. Keep practice, makes perfect. So till next time. Thank you. Bye.